What's good, Scorpio? All right, you guys are going to hear the sizzling in the background because he was making me a steak. It's my meat day, y'all. So I'm starting out with a steak. All right, so um, let's do a life message for you guys with the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck, okay? So I'm going to try to talk a little bit louder, but you're going to have to turn your um, vices up, okay? Devices up. All right, so what is it with, that you would like to... to I think I'm... Are you saying I'm... Spo okay. He was like, no. All right. Life messages for my Scorpions that are here. The main message, spirit. Oh, okay. So the main message here is standing your ground. Scorpio, you know how sometimes we can be um, uh, too gung ho on standing our ground or standing up for something we truly, you know, fully believe in and we, we overdo it. I said we, because I'm saying we overdo it. Well, that's what's going on here. Okay. So spirit is saying, all right, you said what you need to have said in the situation. Um, you did what you were supposed to have done. It's like now it's time for you to move on from it. Now, Spirit is also saying for those of you that are not standing your ground in this situation, guess what you need to do? And then don't get like the other Scorpios and overdo it. Okay? So you got to stand your ground. So we're going to use the Wizard deck by Barbara Moore to um, clarify the standing your ground. Two of Swords. So it's it's like you're at a crossroads. Have you done or should have you done enough? Spirit is saying yes. You said and did what you are supposed to have done. But those of you that are at a crossroads, at a crossroads and have on asking yourself if you should do more about getting your point across, the answer is yes. You should be doing more. The Four of Cups is here. So you have the Six of Wands and the Justice card. So Spirit is saying. For those of you that's already received justice in a situation and the victory is yours, the win is yours, all right, let it go. Keep it moving. Keep it going, okay? Um, for those of you that has yet to do so, Spirit is saying stand your ground. You will receive justice in the situation, all right? All right, so what's trying to come in is conflict, mental conflict. Are you? Have you done enough? Are you doing enough? Is sitting here. Well, you've already learned that you have. So let's clarify this mental conflict card here. My cards are old, so I'm going to see some of the stuff flipping off of here. Okay. Ten of Pentacles. Queen of Cups and the Six of Cups. And you also have the Tower here. I feel like if this was a long-term situation for you, family member, friend, coworker, job, whatever this is that Spirit is saying, talking about with you, right? I feel like Spirit is bringing this Tower here because whatever is supposed to be will be. Whatever it isn't supposed to be will not be. Okay. So that means it's it's in their hands now. You did your part. Let them do theirs. That's why the tower is here. This is what I'm getting. All right? So what's happening moving forward is emotional withdrawal. So this is going to be something that you have to take your emotions off the table with. And I know that you are a water sign and it's kind of difficult for you to take your emotions off of the table with this situation. But it may be better for you so that you can get your justice here in the situation. Some of you, you may find that you have to emotionally with detach yourself from a situation, Scorpio, okay?
And you also have to give whoever this is or whatever this is a chance to um, see what life is like without you. Okay? And like I said, if it's for you, it's for you. If it isn't, it isn't. All right? All right, so clarifying the eight. It's, yeah, five of pentacles. See what life is like without you. And make sure you're following and listening to your intuition during this transition. What will be, will be. Here's the will of fortune. You know, right? All right, so what's being suppressed here is you. Wow. So, yeah, you're definitely needed to stand your ground. Your card is in the suppressed area, so you haven't stood your ground because you're emotionally connected to whatever this is. So you haven't really surfaced. You haven't really took up, taken up for yourself. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So will the real Scorpio please stand up? I said this a few times in your readings. So that means there's a few of you that's not really showing who you truly fully are. I'm, I'm not sure out of fear, worry. I'm not sure why. Okay. The fool. Yeah. The fool, the page of swords. Every time you've tried, you've it's been suppressed. Every time you tried, you were nervous. The six of swords being here, trying to push you. All right. The nine of wands, the six of cups. And oh, I get it. There's something stemming from your childhood that didn't allow you to be your authentic self that you now need to go work on a shadow side about, Scorpio. Yeah, something from your childhood looks like to me. Because now that's how people can take, you know, advantage of you, you know, and take you for granted, uh, Scorpio. So that worries me a little bit. Not gonna lie, it does. Yeah, well, the real Scorpio to uh, stand up because true friends, true people that's supposed to have your back will continue to have your back. Don't sit there and bother and worry yourself too much about who's gonna return back to you when you show who you truly are, when you start to care more about you. Don't worry about that because I know Scorpios are very loyal people. So if people can't see that, that's on them. That is on them. Yep, if they can't see that, that's their justice. That's their justice. They're not supposed to see, so don't sit and worry. I do feel like justice is going to be served. Look, see? Rejoicing in celebration. Yes, your time will come when you'll be rejoicing in celebration over you standing your ground. Just don't overdo it. Allow the universe to take um, to take and do their part once you've done yours, okay? That's what I'm getting. All right, let's clarify the rejoice card. And then I'm gonna shuffle this and get you three more cards and I'm out. See, what will return, return. Those partnerships, those relationships, just wait. They'll return, they're gradual. The ones that's supposed to return back to you will gradually return back to you. If it's not supposed to be, it's not supposed to be, let it be. Don't worry yourself. You stood your ground. You did what you were supposed to have done. You stood up for yourself. This is your new beginning. Who's supposed to be connected to you, supposed to be. Who is not, who is, is not supposed to be, okay? So I want you to keep that in mind as you move forward. And for those of you that has yet to stand your ground or stand up for yourself, get to doing it. All right? Wow. You are a blessing. That was at the bottom of the deck. The fertility card, the, the empress. Look at you. You're going to be rewarded. Recognition and rewards. The spirit is like, we know what we're doing. This is your new beginning. We know what we're doing. We know how we're moving. We, have, we know what's supposed to be going on. Trust in us. 
and listen to how you're supposed to be moving too. This is a bonus card. Yep, listen to how you're supposed to be moving too, intuition. All right, here we go. Solitude. Yeah, because some of you are going to find yourself being alone, sitting alone by yourself, rest and rejuvenate in this time. And the universe is doing a job. I can't make this stuff up, y'all. Look, what's supposed to be will be. Have faith. Massive. 